Men of Reddit. What is something us women do that baffles you? Talk like we are sitting in a library and then get mad when I couldn't hear what you said. And when we say, what did you say you repeat it at the same volume you did the first time while turning your head away as you talk. Then getting irritated that we didn't hear you the second time either. Oh my god my wife always turns away from me as she's talking and I don't catch what she says and she gets so mad at me haha. <laughs> glad to hear I'm not the only one with this affliction. Talking at low volume directly into an open kitchen cabinet is my wife's specialty. How they stick those clumps of hair to the walls of the shower. Rather they be swirled onto the wall and clog the drain. But wow that's funny. Every relationship I've had has included cleaning hair off the shower walls regularly. Didn't even think about it until now. Seriously my partner has super curly hair and she causes a drain apocalypse twice a week. I've tried everything drain covers. Different styles of drain plugs nothing can stand up to the cataclysm of curls. I heard those tub shrooms are pretty sweet, but haven't tried it myself. Probably should. I shed like a German shepherd. <laughs> How much hair strands they lose per day? It's a lot. As a woman I'm genuinely surprised I'm not bald. It seems like I lose an entire head's worth of hair every time I wash slash brush it. As a guy that started growing my hair out and has 12, 14 feet, I never realized one could lose this much hair and still have a full, thick head of hair. I find clumps of curls sitting on my floors. I run my fingers through my hair and get a handfuls of hair. Never had hair longer than one foot before this, and I now realize some of the work involved in good hair. I use so much leave-in conditioner, I used to be more ha ha hair got messed up now I'm like. That's no laughing matter. You know what I had to go through this morning, to get it to stay like that? Think that fight for me is a valid approach. Legit had a convo with a girl, who told she had a guy ask her out, but said no, because she wants him to put more effort into it. Absolutely baffled when told, that it is wrong on many levels. Seriously? Can't you tell the difference between no and no? Pronounces them with slightly different intonation and head movements. FFS no we literally can't. Don't torture the fella. Be upfront. He's a lucky fella for dodging that bullet. Yeah and he's a smart fella. When they ask you what we should eat. We name 5 things and they say I'm not in the mood for that. Then why did you ask me in the first place? Also when I ask my girlfriend you pick dinner you can't make your mind up. My father-in-law hacked this problem by taking them to literally the same restaurant every time his wife said she didn't care. It got to the point where she'd just start naming places to avoid going to the damn Chinese buffet again. My parents play 531, where my mom starts off with 5 restaurants. My dad narrows it down to 3 and then either mom or the kids pick the last one. With whoever I'm with, I only offer 2 places. It forces them to choose like a coin toss person I'm currently seeing actually came up with a better suggestion outside the two on the first date ideas. Which felt awesome. Being mad at me for something I did in your dreams. Apparently I cheated on my girlfriend with one of her friends in a dream and she actually questioned if I did it in real life. Wouldn't speak to me for at least 24 hours. WTF. I was doing chores with my ex once. And I said something. Can't remember what. It was related to whatever I was doing. And she slammed a pan down. And shouted well why. Don't you f marry her then. And left. Blocked me and everything. A day later. When she cooled down. I went to her house. To ask her what the f she thought I said. And she heard me say Amanda wore it better than you. I've never met an Amanda. She went and told her whole family. That I was seeing someone else. And I wasn't even trying to hide it. Her dad wouldn't let me in the house. It was a whole thing. Well hey at least it's an ex. You're allowed to be mad about something without us being mad about it. But when we get mad about something you feel the need to also get mad. But then direct it towards us. Yeah my wife yells at me. When I react in a negative way to things or get angry. I'm like. F just let me be angry for god's sake. Can relate. GF and I adopted a dog together. And while I love our dog. She's also frustrating. If I show any negative emotion about it, then my GF gets upset with me. Am I not allowed to feel frustrated without it being a big deal? It doesn't mean I want to get rid of the dog. Anyway I haven't talked about this with anyone. 
so this thread is a little cathartic. The signs. It's hard to know whether someone is hitting on you. One girl's flirting is another's just being friendly. And you have to walk that minefield anyways if you want anything and risk it all blowing up in your face. Walk right past the thermostat and then sit down and tell me to go turn up the heat. They do mean something else then, I think. Every time I try to have him initiate some intimacy he just fiddles with the thermostat. So, he keeps playing with the wrong button. He just can't find the other one. Asking me what I'm thinking. Saying nothing is the wrong answer, but giving a genuine answer, a, k, or I was just thinking about who would win in a fight between a gorilla and three baboons, and that's far worse, just accept the nothing, and let me be in peace then, edit, thank you for the award, that's the first time I've got one, and it's given me a warm feeling inside, are the baboons organized, and trying to fight, or just three random baboons, this is the question. Organized baboons probably win, but disorganized baboons are a toss up I think. Yeah, I agree. Like, if they go one at a time they're screwed, but if they coordinate, I think they can take the gorilla. The signs, hints, signals all look like you're just being nice and want to be friends. I can't interpret your desires. Just tell me, I used to go to a Starbucks near work every day. My co-workers and I would chat with the staff, because it was usually pretty slow at the time we went in. One of the baristas started writing me messages on my cup. This happened around 5 or 6 times. And then on Valentine's Day she drew hearts all over the cup, and wrote Happy Valentine's Day. So I asked if she wanted to hang out. She was like oh no I'm not trying to go out, or anything than what the f are you doing? Question mark? Speaking with subtext and implications. Girls think they are being obvious, but it's really difficult picking up on their attempts to communicate. I know for myself. The reason I don't understand subtext and implications like that, especially when it comes to relationships, is because I never really assume as a guy that women can like me. You have to tell me you like me for me to understand. Because until that point, I just assume you're being nice at best and just putting up with me long enough to get me to go away at worst. Every girlfriend I've ever had happened, because she asked me directly, like looking in a mirror man. Took me into my late thirties to realize, that they were spending time with me, because they liked me. I still have no idea, if my wife likes me, she just started hanging around and never left. What's wrong babe? Nothing. No really. Something is obviously bothering you. Just tell me baby. I said nothing. Later that night you get a text, I can't believe you didn't even try to comfort me tonight. Something was obviously bothering me, and you just went on like nothing was up. Asshole. I can't believe you. I stopped allowing behavior like this with partners. The foundation of a relationship is communication, and if one party is expected to do both parts it isn't a relationship, and is sucking out any opportunity for communication to improve. Take whatever time you need to get ready, whether it be 30 minutes or 3 hours. Then rush us, when we are about to leave to put our shoes on. And then once you get your shoes on, having been ready for 30 minutes just waiting to lace them up. She needs another 5 minutes of shuffling with bags and stuff, while you're standing by the door keys in hand. You're willing to spend an eternity in a shop you like and complain at me, when I say I'm ready to go. But if it's one I like I better be ready to drop everything and leave when you say you want to. And that is why mass is used to have bars. Man I'd settle for a ref chair at this point. I started sitting on the display stands in protest. Lol. I have great memories of hanging with Phil while my wife and Mill shopped. He would cover the bar tab and we would have three or four gin martinis. Good times. Can't wait for my daughter to get married and pass down the tradition. Why do you all share intimate details about our sex life to your friends? It's strange to us, because contrary to what happens in high school movies, guys don't talk about private bedroom stuff to our buddies. That's private. We don't like when y'all do it lol. I hate the idea of locker room talk. I'm not sharing that s with anyone. A gym locker room is a bunch of guys trying to get changed as quickly and quietly as possible with the exception of one old guy that doesn't care anymore. Just letting it all hang out. 
For proper ball drying, you're either stuck letting them hang out untethered, or hitting it with a hair dryer, and wafting your crotch odor around the room like potpourri from hell. How much hair you can lose, and not go bald, as a dude who's recently been growing out his hair. I've got no f clue man, like it keeps falling out, but never runs out, how much goddamn hair do we have? Just because I'm made about something doesn't mean I'm mad at you. Assume that men are mind readers, and get mad when we are not. Wow, that took off, hope I didn't pee anyone off, I know men do it too. Thanks everyone for the upvotes and comments. When a woman says she was into me a while back but is not anymore, because I didn't make a move when she was communicating her interest through extremely subtle and undetectable signals. I can't read your mind. If you're interested, just tell me. Here is the real Minf K. She wasn't really that into you back then but now looks back on it as she was. So even if you went for it back then she would have said no, but it seems like it would have been a good thing from the future perspective. So to recap, learn to read the signals bro. Slash S. These signals we're supposed to pick up on. Be an adult and just say it. Shower with water that's either boiling or freezing. No in between. That's wild. In my experience women always like it boiling hot. Never cold. Boiling hot because I'm always cold. Freezing cold because it's better for treated hair. It's a battle between priorities. Your obsessions with popping pimples. I have had a couple of girlfriends, and my mom was the same, that loved doing that to me. I can't understand how that is not considered gross. Monkeys and apes love to groom each other. It's evolutionary and instinctual. I think we tend to think of ourselves as enlightened beings. But in reality we just might be slightly smarter apes with a pimple fetish. My girlfriend wanted to look for blackheads, and found a tick on me, before it could bite so it certainly served its evolutionary purpose. Wearing full layers of clothes and still being cold. Layers are often thin. Then there's the whole scientific thing about how women tend to produce less body heat than men making them feel the cold more. Acting like you're best friends with someone you hate. It doesn't baffle me. I understand the importance of saving face and keeping people on side, but I do find it quite disingenuous and contemptible. Talking to us while we are clearly not listening because our attention is somewhere else, or have headphones on, or while we are watching the TV. Then, get mad when we have no idea what you're talking about. Once we realize you're trying to speak to us, 